My helicopter got hit with an RPG. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Stay up there, man. Nobody cares. It's just, I just, I heard all these Hollywood rumors before I went to Hollywood, and I thought, oh, they were all true. Oh shit! All these rumors are all fucking rubbish. Like, you know, I bet I'd heard for years about Richard Gere. You ever hear that one about Richard Gere? Oh, you never heard it? I've oh, it been hearing this since the 80s. I think it was a German guy in a bar in New York. <laughs> story about the actor Richard Gere that in his sex life he likes to put hamsters and things in his mummy for a sexual pleasure. I'm not saying it works, I'm just saying that's where the rumour was. You don't have to give me the ball. Oh, that was dark. I'm not recommending it, I'm just saying that's where the rumour was. Anyway, it's rubbish. I met this guy and I'm like, where's this, this shit come from? I met him, he's a lovely man, very quiet and very kind of lovely and very nice man. I, I don't even think he has a pet. <laughs> At least I didn't see one. <laughs> Come to think of it, I might have heard. Help me! <coughs> Send the cheese! <laughs> and a little wheel for exercise! <laughs> if I'm you put a hamster in your bumpy, it sounds like my mother. There you go. <laughs> The only one that is absolutely true is Dr. Phil is a fucking dick. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I, 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 everybody can stand him. I think Oprah regrets creating him. <laughs> That's right. Oprah created Dr. Phil from piecing together bits of old douchebags she found in the <laughs> <laughs> One man's doctor is another man's dangerous lunatic. Yes, before I met that guy, I thought, I think he's going to be a dick. And then I met him and I was like, Bingo Dick! <laughs> By the way, Bingo Dick is the best porn wrestler that I've ever seen. Sheriff, look who's going to jail! It's Bingo Dick! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, uh, the, I'll tell you what does happen in Hollywood though if you're there for any length of time, but somebody just went to the bathroom. I just saw them going out the door at the back. Do you know, we should all have you. To go back and go, what the fuck? <laughs> Strangely enough, but what happens is sooner or later you will run into someone who was a hero to you when you were a kid, and that very strange. That's a very strange experience. It happened to me when I, when I was just there, I've been there a couple of years, and, and what happened was uh, I was working on the Drew Carey show at the time, which. Uh, <laughs> trailer for the rest of the week. Fucking a man. So I uh, like So I was bored. Uh, this is how me and your hero think of it. So I was bored, I was in my trailer, I didn't know what to do. And we used to make the Drew Carey show at the Warner Brothers studio lot. And the Warner Brothers, it's huge that place. I mean they make everything there. TV shows, movies, everything. And this is a long time ago. Uh, and what I thought I'd do to pass the time is start reading screenplays of movies that were getting made at the time, just to entertain myself, see what's going on. And I read the screenplay to a movie called uh, Twister they were making at the time, right? Remember that? It's about 18 years ago, the one about the tornado when the cow goes, oh, fuck, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> So I, and it was very interesting because I read the screenplay to this movie, and the screenplay wasn't that good, but the movie was shit. <laughs> <laughs> the time, I, I'll, I'll write screenplays. I don't know if I can write any better than this, but it's scientifically impossible to write anything worse, so I'll just write screenplays. <laughs> so I did, I wrote a few screenplays, and we made some movies out of them, and the movies did okay. And one of the movies did pretty well. It was a movie called Saving Grace. And Saving Grace... <laughs> thanks more people than went to see it in the theaters. <laughs> 
Grace, if you never saw, was a movie about a middle-aged woman through no fault of her own gets into financial difficulty and in order to get out of it, she goes marijuana in her greenhouse. You're welcome, the producers of weeds. <laughs>